what is going on youtubers welcome to another video uh today's video we're gonna be talking about a few things but more or less statues i've considered buying statues i've considered selling and whatnot uh before we do get into today's video a uh, quick word from our sponsor which is the coldest water bottle as you can see here uh this is a 21 ounce water bottle that keeps your water cold for over 25 hours plus and fits conveniently in over 99% of cup holders, which is very good for me. Uh, for my couch and my Tesla, the cup holder is extremely small and pretty much every cup I've tried to put in it never fits, but this one does, which I'm really grateful that I have this because it uh, is my go-to Tesla and couch uh, water bottle. Plus, I love drinking cold water. Who does it? It's much more refreshing. So if any of you are interested in purchasing the coldest water bottle, please use the code FLANKSTER below, as well as enter the channel giveaway where we're giving away the coldest water bottle. Uh, all that will be in the link in the description below. So let's get to this video. So there are definitely some several statues I've really been, you know, like I have it in my cart, or I've been eyeballing on eBay, or I just have that itch to get it in my, in my collection. And I wanted to talk about a few of those. One is Iron Studios 110th scale Mortal Kombat Shao Kahn. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, I would love to collect the whole line. Uh, but these 110ths are getting really pricey lately. I'm like, God, they're like 200 bucks each. You buy like five of them, it's a thousand dollars. I could have bought a one third scale for that. So when I think, what would I rather have, you know, five one tenth scales or one one third, obviously one one third is far more impressive. But I still do want to buy like Shao Kahn at least. Although the reason I haven't bought it yet is because I feel like if I buy it, I'm going to want Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Now I can fit one tenth down here. Uh, I can't fit the Goro. Uh, I don't think I want Raiden. But I was thinking of getting Shao Kahn for right there. Because those uh, little Scorpion and Sub-Zero, the like video game ones, are about one-tenth scale. And I feel like Shao Kahn would look sick right there. And I was like, well, if I get those, the Shao Kahn, I'll want the other Scorpion and Sub-Zero. But then I got duplicates. So I'm trying to just... I really do want to get the Shao Kahn. I think it's sick. PCS never made the one-third Shao Kahn on Throne. I'd love a Shao Kahn on Throne, especially next to the arcade. Even though I got the big you know, beautiful one-fourth scale that's obviously way better in every possible way, I still want the one-tenth on Throne. And it fit perfectly right there. Why I haven't pulled the trigger yet is because I feel like if I buy it, I might get others, and I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Although if I can just get just that one, I'd be happy, uh, you know, to at least just have it right there. Another reason is I'm... it's pretty expensive and I'm just waiting for some discounts uh you know it's in stock but I'm waiting for it uh, like at least uh hoping a Black Friday sale or something get a discount I, I don't want to pay full price so if I miss out I miss out whatever but if I could get it discounted and pick it up for like 150 bucks then I'll get it so that is one statue I've definitely highly considered uh I won't deny I haven't thought about getting the new uh Prime One Optimus Prime, the Jetwing, and Megatron. Oh, I love those so much. Uh, but I just don't have the space. I'm not going to sell mine. So that is something that I just can't do. I have, yes, thought about switching these shelves out to garage shelving. But you guys do not understand how much work and effort that would take. And also selling these shelves. I can sell these for five bucks each when I paid $90 for them. And I'm just like, oh, losing that. Plus then have to spend another, you know, 80 on a garage shelf. And it's just such a hassle. And I don't really want to create more statue space in this room. Because I don't want to spend more money to put more statues. I do like how it looks. I know garage shelving would look better. But it's just so much work. I mean, I may do it in the future. Uh, the reason I would want to do it is I could have all the shelves, at least like all this, one height level. Like I wouldn't have these taller shelves. I don't like that. The reason I do the tall shelf is to be able to fit the turtles because a turtle couldn't fit down there. But if I did garage shelving, you know, like this, I could have all four turtles in a row. Uh, move the girls over here and do the two transformers there. The four turtles with, 
him in the middle, uh, inside the garage shelf, and then just all Transformers above. I uh, will accept for those two, although maybe I could fit those uh, with garage shelving above. Who knows? Probably not, though. I may eventually do it someday. It's just a lot of work, and I've done so many statue rearranging and whatnot that it's it gets very tiring, especially moving, like... All those statues are easy to move, but Shockwave. Shockwave is like, oh my effing gosh, I have to take it apart to move it. And that is a pain in the freaking butt. So, another thing that I've really been itching to get is another Predator bus, if I'm going to be brutally honest. I mean, I know I temporarily have like the Scream set up here, but ultimately, I really don't want Scream right there. I do want Scream, I just don't want it right there. I'd either have a Predator or Alien. Honestly, the Wolf Predator by Cool Props if they ever freaking released it. So I'm really annoyed at that because I wanted to get Wolf. I just think it would look so good in the display. I don't want to mess up the below. Even though I've thought about it, but I'm just like, it looks so good right now. Yes, I have Prime 1's Predator on PO, but I don't think Prime 1's Predator would look good in this display because I think it's too big. Uh... I think it will overscale all the other pieces and make those not look one-third, and it just won't look good. I think it's better to have Cinema Cat, because I saw a picture of Prime One's one-fourth Predator next to the Cinema Cat. Prime One's Predator literally went to about right there, and the head was maybe 10% smaller than this one. And I was just like, holy crap, I mean, it's as big as, easily as big as Cinema, uh, the XM Predator, but then they show a picture of Prime 1's one fourth Predator to the one third, and their one third is far bigger. So I'm just like, God, Prime 1's Predator. I mean, I know it's only 35 inches tall, but it looks so big that it would just overshadow everything. I almost feel like it needs to be displayed elsewhere. Like, honestly, like right there as a centerpiece with all the heads surrounding it, and it's just a centerpiece to the entire collection. Even though I've kind of thought of doing Lord of the Rings right there. I thought about maybe just doing Lord of the Rings step below and the Predator above. Because I think that Predator, if they can nail the paint as the prototype, it would be the single best statue ever. Let's just see. Because I know the owner says this is a personal close project. He's going to oversee it and make sure production turns out good. Because they're one-fourth. Conceptually, everything about it, I love. And honestly, I have thought about buying it. But that paint job on the face, I, I just can't get past it. I don't like it. I'm sure it's probably better in person. If I ever got it, I'd only display the masked head, not the unmasked. Frankly, I would even... I'd just put the unmasked in the box. But if Prime One's Predator can turn out Ultimate, I think it would be best right there, you know, on that Maji case. Then probably just throw some Lord of the Ring monsters like the Smog and whatnot underneath. Because I think it could be the single best statue ever made if the paint job is like 98% to Proto. And, yeah, I, I mean, I still want Ghostface. Obviously, we don't even know what it looks like yet, but I don't want to put it right there. I would rather have something else, like a Predator bust. I've thought about rebuying back Sideshow's Berserker Predator. I've been eyeballing, uh, like, watching that on eBay, uh, you know, like putting it right there, moving that right there. I think that would look sick. Plus, it's so big. I really regret selling mine. I sold it at the time because of space. My collection was way too cluttered at the time, to be honest. I did not have a dedicated Predator and Alien setup. I more or less just had Wolf Predator and Dog Alien, and I was kind of like, that's all I'm going to get. And I really regret selling it. I wish I could go back and slap myself in the face. Say, do not sell this and the mask. Sell the one-fifth scale, yes. Keep the bust, keep the mask. And then I could display bust, mask. Ugh. Why did I sell it? So I'm annoyed at myself for selling that. But I would love to buy back Berserker Predator, to be honest. Because that is my third favorite Predator. It goes Wolf, Jungle Hunter, or P1, and then Berserker Predator. So... I'm definitely uh, considering that, for sure. Lately, my mind has been a lot on my Marvel DC room. Like, I've been spending a ton of time in this room. Because uh, I really want to perfect it. I feel like my Marvel collection is close to perfection. You know, I'm really digging how everything's looking. There's definitely... I really want to get at least two more MCU characters. I want a Hawkeye 1 fourth. 
and a Doctor Strange. I feel like those are the two main one-fourths I want more than anything else out there. So I really want those to freaking happen. I'm hoping we got Hawkeye TV series coming out. We got the Doctor Strange 2 movie. So I'm really, really hoping that we can get those two statues. Because if I could get those two, I feel like I could complete Marvel. You know, because I'm not looking to really c collect the next phase of Marvel movies. Even though I'm knowing that I love the movie, I want to just stick to the original, you know, Thanos. Have, have my final statue really from the Black Widow movie and Far From Home. Nothing beyond that. Although I, I do want a one-fourth Captain Marvel. I would love that as well. If they came out with that, I would definitely buy it. Uh, otherwise, I have pretty much every character, all the busts. I'm most likely going to be canceling the Queen Studios Mark VII bust. Uh, I'll probably just stick to that 1-6 for my only Mark VII, even though it's one of my favorite costumes. Because uh, right here, I really want this to be DC. Uh, right now, we have the PCS Spider-Man 1 3rd, which I do love. I may eventually sell, I don't know. I kind of... Honestly, want to buy back Prime One Deathstroke because I sold it not because I didn't love it. I love that piece. I love Deathstroke. Sold it due to space. Same thing with Scarecrow. And you know, I made a lot of collection changes. This was back when I still had DC in the main theater room, and I sold it because of space. And I regret it. I'm like, if I still had it, I could just put Deathstroke right where I have Spider Man. And then future DC one third and or bust. You know, if I did happen to find Infinity Studios Wonder Woman bust, then I could do Aquaman down here. And hopefully with Aquaman 2, Prime 1 releases a Mero one third. So I'd rather do a Mero one third than the Infinity bust, just because I don't want to spend $4,000 on Mero. I'd rather spend like $1,250 and get a really sick looking one third scale. So hopefully they do a one third Mera and then we could do Deathstroke and maybe Black Adam right there. And then Aquaman, Mera, you know, Infinity, Harley Quinn bust, call it a day for DC. Because I only really want to get Black Adam and Mera, you know, and then probably just sell that Spider-Man eventually or find a different spot. But it's kind of hard to have just one one third of a Marvel statue when everything else is one fourth. You know, I got one tenth line. Uh, and then bust. So I don't like having one a one-off of a different scale. You know, where DC is everything's one-third and bust, we need to keep it that way. Marvel's one-fourth, bust, and one-tenth, we need to keep it that way. But I'm done with the one-tenth scale line. I'm just focused on high-end one-fourths, you know, like Queen and, and Iron Studios, and then bust from pretty much just Queen. I'm not looking to get bust from any other company but Queen for my Marvel. Uh, you know, it likely won't scale well, and frankly, the only one other, I think only Sideshow is doing Marvel busts, but theirs are not impressive to me. But yeah, I think I'll probably just do DC here, and I'm really considering buying back Deathstroke. What do you guys think? Should we get Deathstroke back in? I always loved him next to Deadshot. I thought that looked sick. Now if we do Black Adam there, Aquaman, Mera, I think that'd be perfect. Got everything I want. So I'm definitely highly considering that. And I did move the Aquaman trident so it doesn't poke out of the wall. Someone suggested that, but I already did it prior to their suggestion because it did bug me a little bit. But yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to keep that trident because I was able to fit it there. And I don't even have to, you know, remove the bottom half, which is nice. If we could just do Aquaman and Mirror there, then it'd be like an ultimate little Aquaman setup. So definitely that would be nice. And then, yeah... Shazam, if he ever arrives, will go right there. That'll be freaking nice. Then we do Queen Wonder Woman bust there. If we're going to do Queen Joker, or not Queen, I'm sorry, Infinity Studios Joker bus, it'd have to go right there. Joker one third, Catwoman right there, and move those two back. Uh, it definitely is a more cluttered look like that. But I know I'd want that Infinity Studios Joker bust. It's also four grand. But you know in the aftermarket when that's sold out, that thing will be going for six to seven thousand dollars, I'm certain. Uh I've definitely considered just selling this Joker mask, especially if I'm getting the Infinity Studios Joker bust. It comes with a clown mask, so I'm like, I don't need this. So I, I think I'll just sell this. 
you know, it worked in my original plan when I had DC in the other room, but I swear I changed my plans so often. But you know, this is definitely the Marvel DC room. This is my Dark Knight setup. So likely sell that unless I don't do Infinity Studios bust, then I want to keep it. You know, that's really the big thing is do I get the Infinity Studios Joker bust or just stick with the Prime one and the mini Prime one bust and call it a day? You know, because I don't have any other life-size busts. I mean, ultimately, I'd love to have the Christian Bale Batman bust as my bust for this setup, but Joker may have to do. The one thing is, I could not fit his back arm in. Uh, like on the bust, uh, it's also quite wide. So I'd actually probably have to do it right there and then Joker one-third there. And he'd also cover up that entire thing. So I'd have to move that. But I am definitely... Uh, you know, I'm not canceling it yet. I'll probably wait for in-hand picks uh, for that. I did order a 300 poster to go above here. I'm sick of seeing this wall empty. Uh, so there's definitely been a lot of DBZ I've been considering lately. I don't know. I, I still have that DBZ itch. I have ever since I started collecting, if I'm going to be brutally honest. I've considered getting Ophobito, Gohan vs. Dodoria, and Vegeta vs. Zarbon. And I'm like, t to fit that, I'd have to remove Piccolo and maybe that Goku. And I'm like, ah, oh, I couldn't put them anywhere else. But I've loved those, and I know they're more impressive statues than that. I always love the KRC Vegeta vs. Pui Pui, but that's freaking huge. And so I definitely, I need to just resist. Now, I already have one more, uh, one six coming. But I definitely have been itching to buy that, uh... Gohan and Vegeta statue. It's uh, been on my mind lately. I'm like, ooh, I should just pull the trigger right now so I can get them both, because I always love them. But I need to stick to the main villain. It's not the side ones. Uh, I've also considered KD Bardock, even though Bardock, it's not like my favorite character. I just think the statue looks cool. Uh, I've wondered, should I consider KD Goku bust? Put it right there. That's a consideration. Uh... You know, I've also uh, wondered about KD Broly. I've always loved that statue, but I can't have two Brolies. And I don't know if I can ever sell to Sume's. It's such a grill. I, I would love to see KD's Broly in person, because there's definitely some things I like. I really like about it. I think it's more vibrant when it comes to the paint job. It's obviously bigger. I think I like the base better, the pose options, although it doesn't have him holding a Goku as a solo Broly, not a Dio. I love the switch outs, the different portraits. The thing I think is better on Tsume is the skin texture and paint job, you know, and the shading throughout the entire statue is far better on Tsume, I think. But yeah, definitely. I don't think I'll ever sell to Sume, but I've considered putting it down here with that above. Uh, so I could, you know, just have Broly inside here and do Piccolo there, Frieza there. Uh, and then that way this can be left for whatever I want. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot to consider when you're collecting statues, but you can't get it all. You do have to resist, but I've definitely considered these statues. I've also thought, you know, should I consider selling some things? But I don't want to regret it. Especially now, I feel like it's hard to sell a statue for a, you know, a good asking price. People always want to lowball you. But then when you go to buy a statue, they're always trying to get ridiculous amounts of money. And I'm just like, seriously? I see people trying to charge like $2,000 for what I would consider maybe a $1,200 statue or bust. I'm just like, God, people are just the worst. Trying to charge so much uh, for statues that just frankly aren't worth it. And then when you go to sell, you can't get anything for it. So it really is a, a bad time to be a statue collector when it comes to buying and selling, uh, at least in the aftermarket. So yeah, it's crazy times we live in. So I'm trying to avoid it, but you always get those urges. And I keep getting delay emails from Prime One. I'm like, ah, oh, more delays. Uh, but delays are not always a bad thing. It does ensure it's probably going to be better quality and gives you time to save money. I've also thought, should I consider selling those Star Wars? You know, getting rid of those, you know, and just keeping Vader. 
that's a something to consider. You know, doing different movie statues right there. Just keeping it uh, one, you know, bust and one fourth, no additional villains. Only two one fourths from the same movie, if it's like a line like that, that indie. Everything else is just like solo or solo and a bust, you know, or a prop. So, yeah, definitely a lot to consider, uh, you know, when you're statue collecting. I still want to get the Godzilla vs. Kong line, but I'm like, at the end of the day, where am I going to freaking put it? Definitely have to sacrifice some stuff. I'll most likely cancel the bus and just do the diorama, though, if I do it. Just the dio. Because I could fit the dio, I think, like, right there. And although if I get the dial, I'll probably want the bust. Not one me. But what do you guys think? Uh, you know, lots to consider. Uh, I'm in my man cave all day. I work from home, you know, just my laptop. So my mind's always, I'm always looking at statues throughout the entire day, always thinking, tweaking, and trying to perfect my cave. You know, in certain areas, I definitely feel like I've done such a good job, but other areas, it's just not quite there yet. Anyways, folks, that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys are looking to buy any statues, please use the link below. The share sell link as it does help the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.